Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the planet Earth's most relevant newscast. Broadcasting from Sector 17G in the southwestern corner of the Milky Way galaxy, we present to you a program that is a strange combination of newsworthy and non-newsworthy. Funny at times and extremely non-funny at others, ladies and gentlemen, Earthlings and Mooners, may we present to you Down on Live. Welcome to episode 35. Today is July 8th. We have a decent to middling newscast for you today, folks. It's hard to believe, but the majority of the pieces we're bringing you tonight were created by volunteers. Anyone who drops by the studio and spends a few hours can learn how to shoot and edit video. It's grassroots media democracy. I prefer the network system. I mean, what do we have elites for? It's not just that you'll have a chance to contribute. You can learn a ton about video editing, camera work, lighting, and more. And we'll take anyone. Really. And of course, no experience is required. As evidenced by the quality of our programming tonight. Are you being sarcastic? Are you being sarcastic? Tonight is a very special show, as we're going to try some new things. Here's a few stories we're covering tonight. We have a taped performance of Hey Romeo from a few weeks ago. Reporter Ray Virgo files a report from a local campground about the uptick in tourism this summer. We'll talk to some budding filmmakers. And we have a heartwarming story about why you should never trust guys. But first, a quick update about the Dunster School. The province has vowed to play nice with Dunster parents. No word on the school district yet, but Dunster parents are confident they can begin their school in the fall. Here's some worrisome news. Excellent. Not excellent. It's really quite terrible. It involves two tragic deaths, and according to reports, one of the victims is already in hell. Super. Let's roll that footage. Plucky, plucky, you, plucky, plucky, you, pluck, pluck, pluck. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. There once was a lady who sat on a hillside, sat on a hillside, sat on a hillside. There once was a lady who sat on a hillside, sat on a hillside. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. A man sat beside her and smoked his cigar, smoked his cigar, smoked his cigar. A man sat beside her and smoked his cigar, smoked his cigar. Uh, uh, uh. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. They were to be married, but somehow she died. Somehow she died. Somehow she died. They were to be married, but somehow she died. Somehow she died. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Ooh, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. He went to her funeral, but just for the drive. Just for the drive. Just for the drive. He went to her funeral, but just for the drive, just for the drive. Uh, uh, uh. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. pluck. He sat on her tombstone and laughed till he cried, laughed till he cried, laughed till he cried. He sat on her tombstone and laughed till he cried, laughed till he cried. Uh, uh, uh. Boom, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Boom, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. The tombstone fell over and squish, squash, she died. Squish, squash, she died. Squish, squash, she died. The tombstone fell over and squish, squash, she died. Squish, squash, she died. Boom, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Boom, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. She went up to heaven and flittered and flied, flittered and flied, flittered and flied. She went up to heaven and flittered and flied, flittered and flied. Uh, uh, uh. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. Um, plucky, plucky, um, plucky, plucky, um, pluck, pluck, pluck. He went to heaven and flittered and flied, flittered and flied, down below us and sizzled and fried, sizzled and fried, sizzled and fried. He went down below us and sizzled and fried. Sizzled and fried. Uh, uh, uh. 
Un plucky plucky, un plucky plucky, un pluck pluck pluck. Un plucky plucky, un plucky plucky, un pluck pluck pluck. The moral of the story is never trust guys, never trust guys, never trust guys. The moral of the story is never trust guys, never trust guys. Un plucky plucky, un plucky plucky, un pluck pluck pluck. Thanks, John and Liam and Camp. Yeah, news is more believable when it isn't sung. I like the singing, but I don't think I'll ever trust a guy again. Tonight, reporter Andrew McCracken has an important news bulletin right here in the studio for us. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks girls. This piece is so important, I had to deliver it myself. Oh, I bet it's something sensational. Oh, it is. Valmount has a new community calendar. You, you guys don't understand, this is really big. You mean it's a giant calendar? Uh, no, no, it, it, it doesn't seem like much, but, but the idea is all of the events that we have in Valmount are going to be collated onto a single calendar. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. This is, this is huge. So, where do people go now when they want to find out what's happening in town? They tune in to BCTV. Or they pick up a paper. Well, that's true. But, uh, th and those are good ways of doing it. But there's no one single place that people can go to and find out what's on. Wouldn't it be great if people scheduled their garage sales on the same day, uh, but not their dinners or musical concerts. See, the idea is that there's so much going on, we, we need a little coordination. This will help uh, people and groups to schedule the coming up uh, events. Well, who's going to keep track of the events and enter them into the internet? Right, good question. Well, actually, Jennifer Robinson of uh, Velma Tourism mm -hmm. is going to be handling that end of things. Hmm. And where can we see this giant calendar you speak of? Right. Right now, the calendar is only on the internet. So you'd have to go to www.visitvalemount.ca. And that's where, the, that's where the calendar currently resides. But the hope is that parts of that calendar would be uh, printed in the local newspaper. So people would have ready access to all of the things that are happening. Okay, awesome. so uh, what do people do if they have an event? Who do they contact? Right, they need to contact Jennifer Robinson. Now, Jennifer Robinson works for Belmont Tourism, and you can get her. She has an email address, so I'll give that to you now, but we'll repeat it again in the credits. Her email address is uh, marketing at visitvalemount.ca. Marketing at visitvalemount.ca. She also has a phone number. Uh, it's 566-9905. Again, we'll give you, we'll give you that, those numbers and the details again during the credits. Thanks, Andrew. You're welcome. I still don't really understand how the physical size of the calendar matters. Uh, it's like a novelty check. 